Sandra Crapp and Innovision talking about health and well-being today. Well, I think we're sort of getting to the middle of November now. Am I allowed to say the C word, the Christmas word? Well, it seems to be from November, well, it seems to be from September. I've seen stuff in the, um, you know, on the shelves for Christmas in supermarkets. But I notice most years there's a Christmas, what I call a Christmas mania, where... People just go mad and then there's a lot of depression often after Christmas and in the new year. The weather's not great. Normally people have overspent and can cause a lot of depression. A lot of people have family. I think there's more marriages break up just after Christmas than any other, any other time of the year. And there's such high expectations and there just doesn't have to be. There doesn't have to be if we take back control. So what do we do? What can we do? I think it's really great to have a list of price that you're going to spend. And the key thing is to stick to your budget. Now, honour that commitment. And there may be people that can spend more. You know, I've got a family where some of the family members could maybe spend more money than others. And um, so I have a set amount. And also, I'm pretty realistic about what I want to get at Christmas time out of what I want to get out of it and I want Christmas to be simple I want it to be fun I want to rest well I want to be able to cook and enjoy my family you know there's some basic things that I want I don't want to be sat watching telly I don't want to get myself all stressed out and I find when I put these little tiny actions and it helps so if I know I haven't overspent for example I'm not worrying constantly so that's one thing and is getting a list. I think it's really useful as well to do some sort of meditation or mindfulness over the Christmas period, if a little bit of quiet time or if you could take up a few minutes of meditation just to calm yourself because it is meant to be a fun time with family or at least a fun time that people are supposed to enjoy. So how would it be just to slow down a little bit, which people say is virtually impossible? What did I see the other day? Some that says spend 20 minutes in nature every day and if you haven't got 20 minutes if you haven't got time for 20 minutes then do an hour in other words you've got to make time to slow down a bit so have a budget write a list i think is really helpful maybe do some quiet meditation over the christmas period and be organized you know when i'm really organized and get things wrapped up that's helpful maybe make some things of your own that's always really lovely, I think, when we have little handmade gifts. There was something I noticed, you, I didn't realise you couldn't, um, Christmas wrapping paper isn't recyclable, I didn't realise that. So you can wrap it in brown paper or, or make things yourself, which are nicer. And I, I make things for people because I think that's a really nice gift to give when you are making little items. So I have these like little OT bauble things that I make. I'm going to make some of them and wrap them up give them as gifts this year as well as other little bits and pieces because I think that's really important at the personal touch so yeah I hope today's vlog has been helpful for you to help you reduce your Christmas mania oh yeah and go for coffee make sure you go for coffee in all the ambiance when you've got yourself sorted because that's really nice I want to enjoy it this year like I do every year because I keep it simple <laughs>